Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're doing maximum and minimum. Now maximum and minimum is exactly like trying to get the turning points of a graph. If you remember in our previous videos, when we were doing the turning points, I said do derivative and then make it equal to zero and solve for x. Now maximum and minimum is exactly the same thing. Usually the first question will be based on your volume or area which is your grade 10 work. After that, the next question is always derivative. Now, if you're talking, the first question is, you need to get the dimensions. Now, the guy has a rectangular space. We know that his perimeter is going to be equal to a thousand. It can't be more than a thousand because he only has a thousand. So, if we have the length as x, then isn't the side is also going to be x? We only have a thousand meters. So, if I have x plus x, then this two sides would have to equal to a thousand minus 2x divided by 2. Do you understand that? Because isn't I have a y and a y? So I have 2y is equal to 1000 minus 2x. Why am I saying y and y? Because they're equal. The two sides are equal. So I want to solve for y alone. y is equal to 1000 minus 2x divided by 2. So y is equal to 500 minus x. Why is this so relevant? When we are doing derivative. The farmer wants a maximum area. In order to get area, I need length and breadth. But with derivative, I can't have two different unknowns. I need one unknown. So I'm relating it all to x. So what are my two dimensions? If I have a rectangular enclosing, I know my area is length times breadth. Relating to the drawing now, we know one is x, and we know the other one is 500 minus x. So this is the area of my enclosure. But now comes the trick. The farmer wants a maximum area. Now maximum is like your turning points. That is my maximum. If I was doing a calculus, this would be my minimum. Maximum is simply turning points. Now how do you get turning points? We know to get turning points, we do derivative, then we make it equal to zero, and you solve for x. If you want the other dimension, then you solve for y. So let's take our area, and we do derivative. You can't do derivative of brackets that we had discussed in the video called derivatives, the short method. If you're not okay with this, you need to go back and learn this before you can continue the section. So we have 500x minus x squared, but that is still f of x. The derivative would be 500 minus 2x. We're making it equal to 0. Remember this equal to 0 is important. If you don't put the 0 in, if you don't put the 0 in and you just go on and you calculate and you solve x, you've missed the step. The essence of the whole question was, they want to see, do you understand that only when derivative is zero can you get maximum or minimum? Now, by you not writing it in, you're not telling them that. You're randomly solving. And a lot of times, children do that. They tell us, hey, x is equal to 250. But they miss the step. That's a mark allocation. If you miss that step, you're losing a mark intentionally. Now we have that x is 250. So to get maximum, we know that x must equal to 250. What would the other side be? It would be 500 minus x. So we know it would be 500 minus 250, which equals to 250. So this rectangular shape has a length of 250 and a breadth of 250. After this, they'd like to ask you questions like, so what is the maximum area that he can get? Now you know the area is equal to length times breadth. So it's equal to 250 times 250.
which is 62,500 units squared. But look at the question. What did we do? We did derivative, we solved for x. And then we substituted x way. We substituted x into the original. If they ask you, so what is the maximum? You substitute x into the original. Look at the drawings. When you did drawings or turning points, you did derivative, you made it equal to zero, you solve for x and you substituted x into the original. This is the exact same method you're using for maximum and minimum. There's nothing different. If they tell you what is the maximum or minimum, you're going to go through the exact same turning points. That is maximum or minimum. Thank you for watching.